This is a pretty standard percentages question, so most of you are going to be able to get this using whatever method you learned in school. But for the sake of kind of getting us some better habits with percentages, I'm going to use what I call the open formula. And this is something I made up for the old SAT, specifically because percentage questions were so tricky. This one isn't, but we can still use the formula to see how this might work when things do get weirder. This is a simple uh, percentage of question. So there's no increase or decrease. It's not a percent change. So we can use this traditional version of the formula. The O stands for the original amount. The P is the percentage as a decimal. And the N is the new amount. So in this case, they're very clearly asking for the percentage. So P is going to remain a variable. But they give us that we originally have 900,000 beads. So I can put that as the original. And then the new number of beads, the silver ones, are 828,000. So that's our setup. And then just like with any kind of equation, if we have a variable, we should probably solve for it. So in this case, the variable is attached to the 900,000. So we're just going to divide both sides by 900,000 to get our value of P. And so P is going to be, this is where I'd use as a normal calculator, uh, 800 and 28,000 divided by 900,000. Make sure you get all those zeros and you get P is 0 0.92, which is, or like I said, that's a decimal version of our percentage, so that really is 92%. Now look, again, you probably could have gotten this right straight away just by thinking about percentages as fractions and just starting with 828,000 over 900,000, and that is fine, but the SAT is really good at twisting percentages up, so I like to have some good habits down for the easy questions so that when things get weird, I'm prepared for when it's hard. So the open formula is designed to keep you organized, so I recommend trying to get that into your process.